Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for wanting my husband to start paying more of our rent. I'm 29F, and my husband's 30M. We've been together since I was 20, got married when I was 26, and everything was going great for a while. When we first moved in together when I was 25, we split the rent 50 slash 50. At the time, I was making $65,000 and, and he was pulling in $80,000 and, so splitting the $2,600 and rent wasn't that big of a deal for either of us. But here's where things started to change. I got pregnant shortly after we got married, and we were both super excited about it. We wanted this baby. I didn't want to stop working, but I wanted to stay home with our child, so I found a full-time remote job. The catch? I had to take a pay cut from $65 and K to $50 and K but we kept splitting the rent like before, even though my income dropped. Meanwhile, my husband was out here leveling up. Between the ages of 26 and 30, he got several raises and switched jobs. Now he's a senior business analyst making around $195 and K a year. Since we were having a kid, we needed a bigger place, so we found a three-bedroom apartment for $4,000 in a month. I didn't want something that expensive, but my husband pushed for it. He insisted we keep splitting the rent evenly. And I, like an idiot, let myself get talked into it. I mean, he's got away with words and I love a guy, so I gave in. Flash forward two and a half years, and our rent has gone up to $4,400 in a month. My take-home pay after taxes is about $3,600 in a month, and I'm shelling out $2,200 and just for rent. I'm also the one taking care of our kid, doing all the cooking, cleaning, and running the household while working full-time. My husband works long hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and usually doesn't get home until 7 p.m. I'm burned out. I'm out here struggling to make ends meet while he's living the high life. Sure, he takes me out on dates and vacations sometimes, but that's not enough. I feel like I'm barely scraping by while he's doing just fine. So, a couple of days ago, I sat him down and had a serious talk. I suggested that we start splitting the rent based on our incomes, so it's more fair. His reaction? He was shocked. He asked me why having an extra $1,600 in a month wasn't enough for me, I explained that I'm not saving anything. His response? He told me to spend less on extracurricular activities, which honestly made me laugh. What extracurricular activities? I don't do anything for myself anymore. My life is work, cooking, cleaning, and taking care of our kid. I told him I'm basically working two full-time jobs and need some help. Then he hit me with, are you suggesting I pay you for being a mother? I was stunned. I didn't even know how to respond to that. He kept going, saying this was the lifestyle we agreed to when we first moved in together. The problem is, he's not seeing how things have changed since then, or maybe he just doesn't want to see it. Now, he's mad at me. He thinks I'm being selfish and he's been cold to me for the past few days. I'm at the point where I feel like I should just apologize and take it all back, like I usually do. But this time, I feel like I'm right. Am I the asshole for asking him to pay more rent? Edit. First off, I love my husband with all my heart. Reading these comments is really hard because it's making me realize that I might be getting taken advantage of. It's heartbreaking, and I'm struggling to figure out how to approach this without making things worse. The thought of being alone is terrifying, but I also know I need to fix this before it goes too far. Yes, I did sign a prenup before we got married. His family's attorney handled it, and I was young, in love, and honestly didn't think much about it. My mom always said I was head over heels and she wasn't wrong. His family comes from money, and while they've always been kind to me, they have no idea about our financial situation. My husband and I keep our marriage private, so it would feel like a betrayal to bring them into this. But man, this is all weighing on me now. For those asking about the dates and vacations my husband pays for, it's not like I haven't asked him to help ease my financial load instead. I brought it up multiple times but he refuses. He says he can spend his money however he wants, and if he wants to take us on trips, that's what he'll pay for. But if I could afford vacations I'd pay too. Back when we were more evenly matched financially, I paid for most of our dates and trips because I love treating him. Now I can't do that anymore, and it hurts. Just to clear things up, I don't have bad spending habits. I paid off my student loans in two years after graduating, and had saved up $60,000 and by the time we got married. That money is all in my retirement account now, which I'm thankful for because I haven't been able to contribute to it since. I'm pretty frugal with shopping and try to keep things as cheap as possible for my budget. This isn't about how I spend my money, it's about the uneven split that's draining me.
His family is really very generous and sweet. They did instill in him to keep quiet about his wealth, and warn him about people who might use him for it. He's an only child, went to private schools, etc. His mother was a stay-at-home mom because they made so much money, and his stepfather took care of her. But I guess he views his mother in a different light than he views me. I don't really crave too much personal space. He needs it more to be happy. When we lived together, it was always a two-bedroom, so he can have his alone time. This doesn't bother me, but now that I think about it, I should probably be paying less just on that basis alone. Maybe he'll get that, since he's so damn logical. Update Things were pretty rough between me and my husband at the time, but I want to preface this by saying we're still together. In fact, we've welcomed a second child into our family, and things are much healthier now. COVID changed a lot for us. Thankfully, neither of us lost our jobs, but my husband started working from home full-time. That was a game-changer. For the first time, he actually got to see what my day-to-day -day life was like, trying to work while taking care of our child and managing the household. He finally understood how much I was doing, things I could never quite communicate before. Despite him finally appreciating what I was juggling, I still found myself feeling a lot of resentment. In June, I suggested we go to couples counseling. By then, I'd been doing virtual therapy sessions on my own for a few months. Therapy helped me understand why I've let people walk all over me for so long and gave me tools to start overcoming that. To my surprise, my husband agreed to counseling and we've been going weekly ever since. Through counseling, he started addressing some of the deep-rooted issues he has with trusting me financially. It turns out, it had a lot more to do with how he was raised and the beliefs he grew up with, rather than anything I'd done. I told him straight up that I couldn't keep building a life with him if he was going to watch me struggle while he lived in luxury. Thankfully, with the help of our amazing counselor, he finally got it. He realized how unfair our financial arrangement was and was willing to make changes. Things aren't magically perfect, but they're definitely better. We now have a joint bank account as well as our individual accounts. We each put two-thirds of our income into the joint account for household expenses, and we keep one-third for ourselves. I've since gotten a new job and am making more money than I was before, which, by the way, doesn't affect our relationship, it's just nice to have that extra income. With this new arrangement, I finally feel like we're in a more balanced partnership. It's still a work in progress, but there's more trust between us now, and we're no longer stuck in that toxic 50-50 split. I know some of you were hoping for an update where I left my evil husband, but the truth is, I married him for a reason. I saw the good in him, and despite the struggles we've had, He's shown me that he's willing to grow and change. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.